Hey everyone. Hi everybody. We're in Penn Hills right now and we just felt like going on a little ride. You know, we have a rental right now. We have a wonderful Nissan Frontier. I mean, I'm kind of indifferent on Frontiers and Nissan in general. Besides, the Frontiers have a very bad turning radius, but it's a nice truck for a rental. It's not like I own it. And that's because my car is in the shop right now getting the uh, engine cradle replaced. So we're enjoying this for a few days, and we felt like going for a ride and felt like going to Dollar Tree because we actually need a couple of things. And we know how much you guys love these Dollar Tree videos, so we're bringing you another one from a Dollar Tree that we haven't been to yet. So join us as we go inside and just look around and see whatever's in there and have some fun all right there is the good old dollar tree where everything's a dollar and here is our frontier that we're rocking out for now while my car is getting fixed and there's lovely miss kayla the birthday girl <laughs> and let's go in here and see what they got we've never been in this one as long as i've lived here too i've never been in this one Lots of snacks and Halloween stuff. <laughs> Lots of autumn things, too. That's cool. A lot of autumn things. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm a summer guy, so I, this is still too early for me. But I do like decorating for every holiday. I take after my aunt and uncle. My aunt loves to decorate. This is wonderful, cheap, and they look good on the windows. The little Thanksgiving window clings. There's a nice, sorry, my hairy arm was in the way. <laughs> I like getting things like this. Like this is nice too. I, I can see myself getting that as we get closer to actual fall. Right now I'm not thinking of that, I'm thinking of summer. Because it's still summer for the next couple of months, forever. It, it's summer forever, case closed. It's summer forever when you live in Texas. I know, I love summer so. These are cool though, I like things like this. How hot was it in Texas today? 108. 108. Oh my god. Eight. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, I like these. Look at these doormats here for a dollar. That's actually cool. That's cute. For a dollar, those are really cool. Gather here and then something. Uh, hey there, pumpkin. I like that. Aww. I might have to grab that. That's actually kind of cool. For a dollar, you can't find a doormat for a dollar anywhere. Wait, here's a different one. Hello, fall. Aww. Truck full of pumpkins. That's cool. And it's like it's speaking to me because we have a red truck right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, they even have fall flowers and then Halloween cards. I always like the ones with the cats on them. A little wish for you. <laughs> Hope your Halloween is simply bewitching. And let's take note of all the fall flowers because <laughs> That's I, what know I said. A lot of people out there like to do floral arrangements and stuff mm -hmm. like that. This is great for if you have a loved one that's no longer with you too. You could put these at the cemetery and you don't have to worry about them dying and th they they hold up and then you can take them back home and put them up the following year if you want to do so. I'm just glad that there are still summer things here as we are going to Erie again very shortly for another round of Presque Isle and Riviera Motel awesomeness. I'm excited. Okay, now the uh, search is on for DVDs. I know we don't necessarily need to look for them, but what the heck. I don't care. I like doing it. <laughs> so now it's all about finding them and seeing where they're at. Wow. For some reason, it just seems like this place seen better days. The end caps are just messy and cluttered. Does it remind you of a lovely store called Dirt Cheap? Uh, kind of. It's not quite that bad, but Dirt Cheap. We went to a couple locations in Texas. They are absolutely horrible. <laughs> in fact, there's even a video somewhere on YouTube where somebody shows how terrible the stories are. They oh, they're terrible. Mm -hmm. yeah, when we were at the couple locations we went to, they literally took merchandise out of shopping carts or bins and just dumped them on the shelves. Like, like you see how organized all of those Kleenex and whatnot are in the tissues? No. 
at this place, they would have taken those and just chalked them onto the shelves and said, okay, good enough. I mean, it was so messy. And I mean, I don't like to pick on things or places, but it's so bad, I swore I would never step foot in one again. However, maybe for the sake of a video coming up, when we go back to Texas, maybe I will go to one and um, show you just how bad it is. It's so bad. I can't believe they even operate like that. I just don't understand. Somebody somebody said online that there was it could be considered like a health hazard. And I mean, I see that. It could be considered like a workplace danger, like, I mean, you know, cluttered it's, aisles. It's so hard to find anything because things are just thrown together. You could find a bottle of ketchup next to... Uh, uh, bed sheets next to pole toys and stuff mm -hmm. like that and like sunny delight it's it's so yeah. weird i was looking for shoes in there one time and i found like box hair dye and cereal with the shoes yeah it was it was yeah. bad anyway let's continue looking around here for whatever i like the assortment of phone cases for a dollar which i would never trust you got car chargers cables earbuds and then tire foam and cat food and a six pack of water that seems like a good combo <laughs> Literally just looking all around, seeing whatever's here. That kind of gives you an idea of what dirt cheap looks like, but even this is nicer looking than that. Holy cow, we got a clog just in the plungers alone. You pull one out of there, and I, I swear you're going to get the whole batch with it. Let's try that. Let's go for this one. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I'm not going to stay on for this no more. Huh, that wasn't too bad. I'm surprised I'm not finding DVDs around here yet, but it's early. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to go look at the toys and see if I can find Bob Ross puzzles. Wherever toys are. Oh, maybe down there. Let's see if we get lucky at all. Got some puzzles. Not very many. A lot of stuffed animals. It's still Easter here, look. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> no Bob Ross puzzles though. I can't believe that. I I just I wonder I wonder what caused that to be. Like why did that one location get Bob Ross puzzles, but I've never seen them anywhere else. I mean, that was a hell of a deal. One dollar for a 300-piece puzzle? Oh, yeah. And I saw these, too. I wonder if these are any fun. Family Feud. Now, this says kids versus parents, but I thought they had... Yeah, here's a traditional one here. For a dollar? I wonder if that's any good. You like my... Or not. You like my... That's thingy. wonderful thingy. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> bracelet. Look at my bracelet. That's great. Pretty. It's almost as good as this. Oh, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh, wait. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Let her rip. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> okay, you know what that actually reminds me of? This thing. Story time. A while back... This was last year, as a matter of fact. My friends Terry and Nikki and I, as well as Richard and Carol, we were at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall walking around, and Terry had a fart machine with him where he would just push up a button and it would make all these absurd fart noises. And we go into a store, and we're looking around, you know, we're goofing around and whatnot, and the guy's getting ready to close. So we head on out of there, and the guy says, Have a nice day, and as we walk out, Terry hits the button. It lets out the loudest fart like I've ever heard in my entire life. And all of us all of us just start busting out laughing. And a lady walks by and just says, geez. <laughs> and the guy even looked at him and he was like, wow. <laughs> so the chain of events. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh my God, I totally love this beach ball cup. That's so cool. And uh, the kitty mug. Check me out. <laughs> That's cool. But other than that, oh, look at this. Put this on the dash of the Z24. <laughs> Aww, mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me shaking it all up. <laughs> all over the dash. <laughs> 
Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, it's August. <laughs> I know, I hear you. Popcorn. I know. Famous Amos. I love it. This is must this must all just be discounted or reshop. So much back to school stuff. How about back to summer stuff? Let's celebrate summer longer and longer. Kayla pointed out the mini stapler too. <laughs> then you got your tiny little scientific calculator for a dollar. And then for people that can't see. <laughs> and over here we have the spookies. <laughs> This is cool. I like these. I always love these little lanterns. I like that with the the pumpkins and the cat on there. That's cool. Like That's actually pretty cool. I'm debating whether or not I should buy that because I know if I don't now, I won't see it at any other location and they'll be gone. Buy it. Buy it. That's how buy that normally it. Buy works. It. Buy it. There's more spookies over here. Look at these glow-in-the-dark skeletons. That's cool. What the heck is this? A mouse, that's Chuck E. Cheese right there. <laughs> the way that company went down the toilet this year. There's a bat. That's kind of cool, actually. I actually really like that. Hang that off the door. That's pretty sweet. For a dollar, too. You can't beat that. Get out of my house. Oh, Get out of my house. Fail. I can't. <laughs> I know I'm totally contradicting myself. Because it's so early and it is still summer and it's going to be summer for a long time, case closed. But I am getting the bat and a couple of the lanterns there. They are so cool. And like I just said, I promise you if I don't get them now, I won't find them anywhere else. And I'll come back here and they'll be sold out. That's happened a couple of times. So I'm just going to get this stuff now and just add from there because it's early and we will find more things. Now watch, now that I'm buying them, they'll be everywhere at every Dollar Tree, but that's okay because they're eventually going to go up anyway, so we'll enjoy it. <laughs> okay, I couldn't make up my mind. We got the Gather Here doormat and the he Hello Fall one, and I was like, do I get one or not? And then I, we still have a couple Halloween ones from years past, but for a dollar, you can't beat it. We're getting them. Oh, they got penny rollers. Awesome. I need these like crazy. And they got other ones like for quarters and then they have the mixed bag, but I need just penny ones. You know, I actually didn't know that they would have just the penny rollers in a bag, but I've needed these so badly with how much change that I save up. And I have bags of rollers for every other coin type except for pennies because these just go so quickly. So this is perfect for a dollar. I now have these for a while. The reason why there's a chain shortage is because you have so much change. You stole it all. <laughs> I need to take it to the bank and cash it. <laughs> yeah, there is no coin shortage. Case closed. Exactly. Kind of like the new Dr. Pepper shortage that people are trying to I scare talked, others with. I talked to my mom about that today and I asked her, <laughs> since she lives in Texas, I'm like, is there a Dr. Pepper shortage? She was so confused. Yeah, I mean, there Texas isn't. Texas would die if there was a Dr. Pepper shortage. We'll go up to the registers. I can see it from here. <laughs> So that's the end of that. Yeah, here is said Dr. Pepper shortage. Look, I see it in there, ready to go. And look what we found over here. DVDs. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Deadliest Catch Season 7. That's actually pretty awesome. I like the Wicked Tuna series, especially the one from the Outer Banks. Bill, Monaco, Pastor Shepard. Fior returns the steal secret. We steal secrets, sorry. Running from my roots. Uncaged. Frank and all of the I'm stillborn. Wow. <laughs> Betty Boop talking Woodstock. Let's see what else we got going on. We got a good selection here. Princess Diana. If I stay, Titanic. Terror on the Titanic. One calls the heart. Devil's whisper. Interesting. Hmm. Arts and crafts, count with me, Alaska. Interesting. Here we go. Oop, almost dropped the camera. <laughs> Outlawed, Citizen Jane, the Exorcist, the beginning. Alo Alo, off the menu, the Easter story, broke. He's out there, I certainly am. Family possessions, killers within. Viking blood, Rocky Road. Chuck Norris just touching this and I know it says five dollars but just touching this kicked my ass maybe that's why it's here everybody was afraid to touch it 
the girl in the photographs. I heard about that one. I can't remember if it's any good though. Planet Earth. Just okay. See anything good? The Easter story. Again. Snow Queen Doe. Shock no talk gears. Exorcist. Alright. Ice Age Giants. That's cool. Four arms. No, I can't read that one because it's upside down. No. 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 Oh, Elvis, though. Kind of looks like him. I guess it's an impression and impersonator. <laughs> Elvis week. Let's see. Extreme Rex. Can't pick this one up. Harvest. Chips Ahoy. I can get behind that. <laughs> Western. John Wayne. One calls the hard. Stri oh, Strawberry Shortcake. Heck yeah. I need that in my life. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> What's this? A CD? Wow, there's like four CDs in there. Oh, two CDs. Two. Made in Canada, $9.95. Who in the world is that? I have no idea. That's why it's here. <laughs> Royal Adventure, Rock and Roll Easter, Stronger. I don't know anything about that. Atlantis. Okay. Decent little selection there. Where's that one? I was curious about. I can't remember if this one's any good or not, but I heard about this one. Yeah, I don't know if it's any good or not. This guy right here, he looks like someone I've seen on the Catch a Predator. <laughs> I'm not even joking, but okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow, it got dark out here fast. Anyway, that's going to wrap up our little look here at Dollar Tree and Penn Hills. That was actually worth the little trip out here. You know, we're joy riding in the truck while we have it because I paid for it, uh, you know, to get the Z24 repaired. So why not have some fun? with this little hot rod <laughs> it's definitely not the first truck i would ever want to own in my life but for a rental it's cool to play with something new for a few days and the z24 will be back on the road and rocking strong and we'll be good to go so i'm just glad with the z24 i figured out what was wrong with it before it would have become a major problem so that's okay so uh, while the sub or subframe, the K frame and uh, slash engine cradle gets replaced, we get to toy around in this thing. So I like it. It's cool. It's not a bad truck, but definitely not my first pick, but that's okay. So anyway, uh, that was cool. We got a cool uh, handful of Halloween items there and uh, Boy, we'll just have to figure out where we put all these doormats now because I'm pretty sure I still have one or two from Halloween or fall. But, you know, after a few years they get old, you just want to throw them away and get something new. And, hell, for a buck, for a doormat. Can't beat that. I don't care if it only lasts me one season. That's not bad. Anyway, we're going to take off. We hope you enjoyed this fun little uh, adventure at Dollar Tree. I like doing these. You know, I miss doing the Langolier series as much fun as that was and going to, you know, about a handful of them for each video. But I kind of like doing this where I go to one for one video and get to spend a little bit more time in there and show you guys a little bit around the store for a little bit more time. So anyway, that's going to be that. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe for more content. And we're just going to go take off and joyride in our frontier. <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys later. So take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Have a delicious day. <laughs> Bye, everyone.